In this video I'll be guiding a step by step on how to install Wherewinds Meet Lite on the Steam Deck in SteamOS Gaming Mode. This Lite version has been proven to offer improved performance over the standard Steam version, which runs at around 20 to 30 FPS with frequent stutters, compared to anywhere between 30 to 60 FPS with this Lite version that we'll be installing today. Before we begin, there are two important things to note. First, if you've previously been playing the Steam version, you'll need to migrate, link, and bind your Steam account to a NetEase Games account. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Second, you'll need a USB keyboard to log into the game once, and you can skip ahead to the timestamp in the video to see why. And if you'd like to see gameplay of Wherewinds Meet Light in further detail before attempting this, I have a video showcasing this in the description. So if you're new to the channel and want to see more content like this, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share this video with others, and let's get started. Now if you've been playing the game through Steam, we want to go to our game settings, go to other at the top, choose bind account, and on the screen that appears, we want to choose NetEase Games account, and choose link. And on the window that appears, we want to choose copy URL, close the game, go to our web browser, and paste this link, and then follow the steps provided, where we can log in or create a NetEase Games account. And once we've logged in, we'll get a message saying link successful. And our Steam account will now be transferred to the NetEase Games account, which we're going to use to log in to Wherewinds Meet Light later. Once our account's prepared, we want to go to desktop mode, and we want to go to our web browser, and go to the official Wherewinds Meet website, where we're going to choose play in the top right hand corner, and download the client installation to our downloads folder. And from our downloads folder, we're going to right click and choose add to Steam. And in the bottom right hand corner on our taskbar, we're going to choose Steam and then select library. And once we're in Steam, we need to find WWM, which is the installer. Go on the cog symbol, go down to compatibility and assign Proton Experimental. Now before we launch the client, let's go back to our downloads folder and then we want to go to our home folder. In the top left hand corner, we want to change to the third display view mode, like this. Go to the three lines on the right hand side and choose show hidden files. And from here, we want to go to dot steam, steam, scroll down to steam apps, and then we want to go inside compact data. Now with this folder open like so, go back to steam and we want to launch the setup like so. Now when the installer loads, you'll notice that your trackpad isn't working, just hold down the Steam button to activate this again. Now let's not press install straight away, we want to go back to our compact data folder and have this in the background, where we're going to see a numbered folder has appeared, saying just now. And this folder is where the game is going to be installed, so I recommend taking a note of this number. Now go back to the installer and choose accept from the bottom and then we want to go ahead and choose install now where afterwards the setup will close and a new one will appear and for now we just want to back out of this go back to our compact data folder and access the numbered folder which is randomly generated for everybody and then inside we want to go to pfx drive c program files and inside here you're going to see a folder called wwm then we want to go inside Win32, deploy, and if we scroll down, we're going to see launcher.exe. And now that we've located this file, we want to go back to our setup, and we want to close this by choosing cancel. Now this next step is very important, as we can't just add launcher.exe to Steam and run it with Proton. We need to make sure that we manipulate the file in a way so that the game is still installed to the correct prefix folder. And if we don't do this, then the game won't work and we might need to start the whole process all over again. So just follow along and we'll get it right first time. So we want to right click on launcher.exe and choose copy location. And then we want to go back to Steam and choose the cog symbol on our WWM setup, go to properties. And we want to go inside our target field and in between our quotation marks, we need to make sure that in between these we paste our location like so. So right click and choose paste and you should have this here, the full path 
going to launcher.exe in between both quotation marks. Now once that's done, highlight everything inside starting below, choose paste, but this time we want to go to the end where it says deploy forward slash. Go to the launcher.exe and we want to delete the launcher.exe part. So it just ends in the folder deploy. Now if you did that part correctly, we should have the launcher.exe in the target and then deploy forward slash in the bottom one for starting. Now let's go to our shortcut and we can choose to rename this to where winds meet or where winds meet light. Now once that's done, let's go back and choose play on our newly configured client. And on the right hand side, we're gonna get a choice for client version. By default, light should be selected, but if it's not, just make sure to choose the light version. Now when we press install, we will get a black box appear, but that's okay. Just move the mouse around or click on and off it, and then it will return and it will just be asking us if we want to use an SSD, which we already are, so we just wanna press no. And after this, the game will download. Now once the download's finished, we wanna make sure that we plug in our keyboard at this point, or we can use a Bluetooth keyboard, or if someone else figures out a way how to log in without a keyboard, please leave a comment down below and share it with us all. As this part was really tricky to figure out, but plug in the keyboard, and we'll go from there. Now when the login field loads, whenever we try to select inside and type, the text entry just won't allow us to enter any text and in gaming mode, it's even worse. So we have to run it in desktop mode with a mouse and keyboard or by using the trackpad by holding the steam button down in combination with our keyboard. And what we want to do is click inside the text field and then outside on the client's animation and back inside the text field again. Doing this a few times, we'll eventually see the text entry flash, where we can now type our email. So once we've got it, let's use this opportunity to enter our email. And then all fun and games, we need to do it again for the password field. So just click inside and click outside until it hooks and choose login. So it's really important that we made sure to link our Steam account to our NetEase Games account before doing this because if we did it after, then we would have needed to log in with this method a second time, which nobody wants to do. So once we've finally managed to log in through the launcher, let's go ahead, accept the agreement, go through anything left, and just get the game running, where, once we're inside, we can just press Alt and F4 on our keyboard, or log out as usual. Return to gaming mode, and launch Where Winds Meet Light from there. Now when we launch in gaming mode, we'll see the client, where we can just choose enter game, but if you've got a black screen, don't worry, we just wanna press the Steam button, choose login by switching windows at the bottom here, and then we're gonna see the NetEase Games account login, where our account should be remembered, and we can go ahead and log into the game. And once we're in game, let's go to our settings, change to the first performance preset, by default it's on the second, so just change to the first, this will set everything to low, we can enable FSR, put on 65 resolution, and then our game will be running in between about 40 to 50 FPS, which is a lot higher than the Steam version, which was around 20 to 30 with stutters. And if you'd like to, we can choose to install Lossless Scaling with my guide linked in the description. So I hope this video was helpful in getting Where Winds Meet Light installed on your Steam Deck. And if you're running into any issues, please leave a comment down below and we can all try to help one another. Now if you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. And until next time, have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.